Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. Hey guys, this is your host George. Okay, excuse me. Why are you talking like that? Uh, I was trying to. I was trying to try something different. Trying to be more exciting. Dude, just for say this hi. Week. This is George, hi. and I am JD, and we're Woolly Mammoth Gaming, and we're doing. Do you know the name of the game? Um, we just saw strangeness. On the Stranging, strange, Doctor things. Strange in the Paradise of Multiverse of uh, Final Fantasy. Strange things that happen in paradise. Oh, the statue was crying. Did you see that artistic choice? He made the statue cry. Um, guys, so this is Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. If you played Final Fantasy 1986 for the Nintendo Entertainment System or the multiple re-releases of it, it may look a little familiar because it's a retelling of that story. So it's a, it's a complete retelling of that story? Yeah. Or reimagined? I guess you could say it's reimagined. <laughs> There's definitely some variation in the original, but it's got like it's got the core of that original story. Okay. In it. Um, so it's the same characters? Uh, some of the characters are the same. Like this guy, Garland. Yeah, he's the same. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got some of the same cities and towns that you go to. Some of the thi the okay. three the, the four main characters you play at a little different because in the original Final Fantasy you make your own characters and here they're already created for you. Okay. Your Jack. Okay, cool. So. Ooh, this is a this is a very violent intro, man. You're like. It's like bringing back memories of Blood Omen, right? That this intro, like, <laughs> so just massacring slash, people slash. in the cathedral. So it's like, I haven't played Horse D1 from 1987, which people must be thinking, does JD play any video games in the past or anything like that? Because she keeps saying she hasn't played this or that. But yes, I have. Damn it. Stop okay. thinking name, that shit. Name one game you've played. Just one. Oh, please. Uh, I'm <laughs> kidding. No, I mean, I played games. We used of to, course. we were, yeah, we had plenty of PlayStation. Uh, yeah, Diddy was a PS2. <clears throat> we put on Dark Cloud, and one, Diddy's two, like, oh, three, I know what this four. is. Well, there were plenty of Final Fantasy games for the PS2, but the original Nintendo game, maybe we'll play that too. I would like to play the original Final yes, Fantasy. Yeah, I didn't have any Nintendos. One. I had just the regular Nintendo. I didn't have a Super or an N64. Yeah, I stopped right at the first Nintendo. Yeah, I know. Your childhood sucked. We know it. We know Whatever. It I had a Sega Genesis. So Whatever. Uh, okay. Those were cool. So cool. Okay, so we gotta fight this monster. So right I, away, right off the bat, you gotta play uh, fight this Medusa-looking shit. Yeah, Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Well, that sounds very similar to Nazi. <laughs> I guess they were supposed to be quasi Nazis in in the Marvel universe, right? Yeah. The Hydra. Bring it. So is it like the same thing? Like if you cut off its head, it'll regrow one. Yeah, okay, so this is the tutorial. I already know how to play, but whatever. <laughs> You're like, whatever, uh, Whatever. Man. I'm so cool. I, I'm, I'm I've cool, only played man. it like a hundred times. I'm, I mean, I've never played this before. This is going to be my first try at this game. So <laughs> I'm, if, if I'm doing good, it's just because I'm that good at this game. Yeah, sure. It's Tiamat is his name, by the way. Tiamat. Tiamat. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tia. ta 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 tia well, I'm like, well, this is pretty easy because, well, actually, I'm getting clobbered by him. I don't know if you can lose to this guy. I think you just keep healing. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So you do, Whoa. like, smash heads. <laughs> I don't think they're growing back, baby. I uh, think they're done. Yeah, you can hear the sound effects. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So that's Jack. He's the main character. Those are my two buddies, feel like Ash. So and you're Jack. I forgot the other guy's name is Zach, maybe? Ash? I forget. Is it Neon and Ash or something? I thought, no, Neon is the girl, I think. Neon is the girl. Which we haven't, we haven't in ran later. into her yet. There's no Neon. <laughs> I mean, I don't know who Neon is. I don't know what you're talking about. But well, yes, I was I've never played it. this God. game. This is my first time. I've, I've just, Such a liar. I've never touched this game before. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> sure but yeah so so it's kind of a cool retelling a lot more actiony than typical final fantasy game as you can see this is a much more action orientated game well it starts off um, yeah if you want to do it in the hard mode just know that it is freaking hard <laughs> 
It's so like Dark Souls level uh, of hard. You just said you did never touched his game this before. Is, this is just things I hear from people telling me. Okay. This is this is what I hear from the grapevine. Sure. You like the Frank Sinatra playing? Yeah, it's nice. Frankie. Oh, Frankie. Froggy. Kermie. So, so this guy has like a like a Batman voice, right? Really. Yeah, I guess so. Raspy kind of like. He's like, I'm Jack. Hello. <laughs> um, I think that yeah, he's kind of like a uh, yeah. So you have to do the tutorial. I guess even if I know what I'm doing, which I don't because I've never played this before, <laughs> I still have to do the tutorial. Uh -huh. So, um, there we go. Um, there we go. What, what's goblin. going on here? Like you had to fight this big fucking monster, and now you're doing a tutorial. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's weird how it just starts off where you're oh, fighting this, uh, this five-headed. Oh, I have to do the do the moves on the bottom. I see. In order to pass. There we go. Okay, I see. Defeat the goblin. No Follow problem. Follow the tutorial, man. Oh my you god. You must have been I'm a just, lousy just, student <laughs> in school. <laughs> it's like I need you to block. I'm just smashing away with my sword. The like, teacher must have been not, so frustrated. This with game you. is so stupid. Why have I been fighting this goblin for like an hour? <laughs> Alright, so the yellow bar above an enemy is its break gauge. Attack the enemy to deplete the gauge. Press RT to expand MP and use an action ability to deal heavy break damage to your foes. You guys got it. It's it's fighting. <laughs> uh, how do I use? Oh, I have to keep hitting him until I do his break damage. So, like, what's the story here? Okay, so we uh, break enemies completely by depleting their break gauge. Approach enemies and press B to finish them off. Gotcha. Uh, so we are four people. Four warriors of light, and we have these four crystals, and they're not glowing anymore. So we gotta find chaos and kill chaos, and then our crystals glow again. So he's gonna mention chaos a lot, which is a guy that we are trying to kill. Um, hold these with your break gauge and adopt the soul shield stance. Blocking and taking the sword MP. Um, trigger. So it's like a travelogue story. Yeah, I guess so. Um, oh, pretty much every crew. Of fighters yeah. head out to kill arch nemesis of whatever kingdom. Yeah, you got it. That's like every Final Fantasy is a travel log. You go, you start in one place, you go to another place, you're looking for stuff. I think we're looking for crystals. Actually, we have the crystals. We're looking to re-energize them. Um, so gotcha. shield and guarding. Need some juice. You guys can you guys can pause this, I guess, and read it on the screen. It's a lot of stuff about the combat. You know, you get you can use the soul shield, which is super useful in combat, which is by pressing the B button. Um, and here I'll show you this too. This is cool. Um, so if you use the soul shield, like I can absorb this stone throw and then throw it back at him. Like I can absorb his power. Boom, boom. He threw it back. Yeah, I, I like caught it and threw it back at him. I don't want it. Uh, I still have more stone throws I can use. Oh, cool. So, uh, like, it's, why are you in the middle of nowhere training? I'm, I'm reclaiming my memories. This is in my mind. This is a wheat field in my mind. Is this, like, Assassin's Creed or um, something? Or in this machine? Oh, the... What is it called? The Nautilus or something? Yeah, I haven't played that in a called? long time. Um, I use the Soul Burst. Why? Wow, he's, like, <laughs> covered in blood. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Yeah, my sword is like covered in blood. Yeah, it's like red. There we go. Exploded all you sons of bitches. Defeat all goblins. No problem, babe. You got it. So this, you know, this is fun. This is like the tutorial level. Um, you get to explode them with crystals, which is always fun. Kind of cool art design, cool graphics. We're gonna get into the actual story here in a second once I defeat all these gobbies. So it's like the sword is uh, aluminum. Aluminium. Why would you say that? Because he's carrying it around like nothing. Well, that's just because he's so strong, baby. He's he's a tough guy. He's like fucking Arnie, Arnie Schwartzy. You know who Arnie <laughs> Schwartzy is? <laughs> he's a, you, I, I feel like Arnie would carry a sword, just like yeah, flip it around. Arnie, and, uh, Schwartzy. Maybe it's... Like what it, Vinny Dizzy? Vinny Dizzy. Oh my god, I love <laughs> Vinny Dizzy in the Fasty Fury movies. My favorite is... Or all the, Dwayne Johnny? 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> is this is this gonna be the Fast and Furious babies? Fast and Furious oh, like, babies uh, coming that's, true. That was crazy. <laughs> Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers movie. Oh my god, such a good movie. That uh, that has to be babies. one of my favorite movies of the year. Really? Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, we just came back from watching Doctor Strange. Yeah, it was a cool movie. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I like this guy's hair. A little pink hair with like little spikes. The he must spiky, put a lot of gel uh, in it. Spiky. Jad. That's his name. He looks like a Jad, to. right? Jad. An Ash. And I'm Jack. So you're going to cut your hair like that? Chaos. That's all I know. I got to dye it pink first. Me too. You gotta use a lot of products. You gotta get it like yeah. that, that would take an hour to do in the morning. He's like, "Oh, sorry, I'm J I'm Jed. Sorry, I'm late. Had to had to do my hair." It's like yeah, we just I mean, you just get some super strong pomade, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Just Jack stick your Jed into and it. Ash appealed to the king of Corneria for leave to hunt down chaos. Several weeks have passed since that day. Now our three heroes return in triumph. Their quest complete. Wait, uh -huh. we jumped ahead. From that point right there that just happened, you jumped ahead? Yeah. Why? So we went to go, our quest complete, now we're back, going back to Corneria. Um, because who wants to see that boring part of us killing chaos? That's I so I thought that boring. was the whole point. Mm. What? What? Need something for that? Hmm. Uh, just putting some bacteria in it. It's all good. Um... So yeah, so was not a shave. Fight chaos. Well, this monster hunting is a pain in the ass. I guess we well, yeah, I'm confused Jeez. by that beginning too because he's saying when are we going to fight chaos? But I think before we fight chaos, we have to go So that was the part oh, I skipped over reading. We have to go Time kill the monster the for the king to be like, "Okay, now I believe you guys are tough." And now he'll tell us where like chaos. A test. Is. Yeah, it was like a test. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good example. Yeah, a good word. <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly like, what I was uh, to say. Uh, uh, "What are we doing?" Like so this is a little before they find chaos and kill him? Yeah, we're still looking for chaos. We got, the king has to give us the, the directions to find chaos. Oh, okay. This part is cool because this is from the original game. Like this whole thing at the beginning. Oh. It's at the beginning of the Nintendo. We got to play the Nintendo game. This is like the prologue that comes on the screen when you start the game. When the darkness oh, okay. veils the world, four warriors of light will come forward. So they just kind of pushed us a little later, I guess. Yeah, but that's what you see at the very beginning of the game. It's very cool. And it's oh, very, interesting. It's, it's okay. cool. You are skilled, to be sure. Few could have slain even one of those abominations, let alone three. There is still the matter of your number, however. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Yeah, there's and just three of us. So shit can happen unless there's four of them? Yeah, we need four for the prophecy. They're crystals, but they look like black orbs. Like eggs. Here we are, ready and willing to take chaos down for you. And with all due respect, isn't that what matters most? Perhaps. Yet a question still weighs on my mind, warriors of the dark crystals. Why court danger so eagerly? What could you possibly hope to gain? It's like, hey, <laughs> is my coat fluffy enough? I went to I went to the the royal dresser and I was like, give me the fluffiest thing you got. Yeah. And he's like, I mean, can I you feel handle? Cozy. <laughs> it's like a like a weighted blankets on me. <laughs> yeah, can you handle this much fluff? <laughs> this and I was like, being a I can king. handle it. <laughs> Does this That's coat make question. me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. <laughs> All right. Minister Lago, fetch the key to the shrine. Okay, so he's giving us the. Uh, so we said we want the key to the shrine so we can take out chaos. He's in the chaos shrine. I think it's called something like that. I place the future of Cornelia. So they locked him up into the shrine. And he's I, got the key to it. I guess so. Why would he have a key there? Yeah, why would he have access to go get to this person, this thing? Uh, yes, this is Castle Cornelia. You, you could talk to this guy. He's got a little bit of sass to him. Key to you in the morning. Make your preparations and wait for me at the city gates. He's got very fluffy and shoulders too. Yeah, he's just cynical. He's like, ah, I don't believe you guys can do it. You want to talk to the princess? The princess? Or is that the queen? I think that's the queen. I 
can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. The look? Even so, I would kindly ask that you smile in front of my daughters. Okay. No. That's important. <laughs> There's his daughter. That's important. Cornelia is counting on you to save us from the darkness. That's the princess. Well, there's two princesses. That's one of them. May the crystal's blessing be with you always. May it sounds very similar to may the force be with you. May the force, I mean, crystal's blessings be with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just grabbed the Star Wars script and started crossing out force with crystal. <laughs> Use the crystal, Jack. Use the crystals. Trust your instincts. <laughs> I feel like that's something. Yeah. They say in certain fantasy movies, may this be that, may this do this for you. I, this is definitely a Final Fantasy thing, but... Um, like the mix of like people wearing medieval garb and then him in like an Abercrombie and Fitch jean and a t-shirt is a little strange. <laughs> yeah, it is. They're like out of place there. Everybody's wearing yeah. like dresses and... Snacks. Like very steampunk, and he's like wearing like Abercrombie and and like our apostle. Yeah, it's so odd. Well, he's got like seventies bell-bottom pants there. That guy. Nah, it's nothing. Jack has the best medicine. And this music is also like I mean I think I have the bomb in our headphones a little low, but this is like quintessential Final Fantasy music from the first game. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Is there something you want? There is. I need a favor from you. I heard you were going to the shrine, so I thought this would be my only chance to ask. A favor? Two, actually. Of course. <laughs> there was a knight by the name of Garland who set off to battle chaos as well, but he never returned. Sick. If you could, I would be grateful. If That's you favor back. number one. We favor okay. number Keep two. Track. I'm going to spread my legs. I want you to get your <laughs> tongue down in it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, George. What time off fantasies. <laughs> Favor number two, we're gonna have to go to the hotel. Things are gonna get a little freaky. <laughs> okay, so she's saying she remembers an our a knight named Garland that no one else remembers. But that's we're gonna see him. He's so he's real, not a figment no. of her imagination. Yeah, he's at the he's at the chaos shrine. Is he maybe chaos? I don't know. Oh, intent, maybe chaos. <laughs> Minister, not my father. They say a knight by the name of Garland never exists. I'm like impatient, like tapping my foot. It's like, okay. Like, All right, let's go. That like represents me playing the game. I'm like, okay, cool story. <laughs> I want to fight stuff. He's so moody. The other favor. Come back safe and soon. That's like a quintessential Final Fantasy protagonist. Has to be like moody and brooding. For some reason, that's like their go-to. Like, oh, my it's controller's high, vibrating. Yeah, it was someone who's like, kind of like the Witcher from the TV show, The Witcher. He's like, mm, I kind of care. Like, mm. Mm, my, my, my controller vibrated. Your yeah, controller is the crystal. Ooh, I'm gonna put in a special place. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like, why is your crystal so sticky? Yeah, like, don't God. ask. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that's what all their right, crystals right. are, vibrators. Mm, look, I'm not gonna say they're not. They they serve multiple purposes. Like you know how you can use some things for multiple things. Like you can use aluminum foil to wrap up food, but then you can also use it to cover your stove to keep it from getting dirty. That's the same thing with the crystals. You can use them to save the world, or you can put them in your vagina <laughs> and have a, have a nice night. <laughs> I'm just saying. So wait, man. everybody has a crystal. They, uh, just us three. Oh, we okay. each get one. Because we're the three warriors of light. See, so this guy's got some sass to him. I don't know if I care for that. He's speaking the truth. Oh, by the way, we're playing this on PC. So, I don't know. I think the graphics... Um, I had to do it on standard graphics. Even though I have a powerful graphics card, this game is not very well optimized for PC. So oh. it doesn't do that well on PC. Oh, I got some I got some Mage Mashers and Killer Knuckles. Uh, all right, so Illusion at Journey's End. Um, you can talk to people on the world map, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's start the mission. So we need to go to the Chaos Shrine. Um, uh, okay. Uh, each mission has a predetermined mission level. 
Okay, sure. I, uh, it's a good thing I'm doing this tutorial because I kind of... I, again, I've never played this game, but if I did, I didn't really pay attention too much to a lot of yeah, this stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so the other thing about this game is there's like a billion weapons. It's kind of like, have you ever played Torchlight? Uh, no, you, I don't think you played Torchlight with me. That's another one where no, every I enemy I drops play, so. weapons, but most of them aren't very good. So you get just like a, you just have like an inventory that's just like pages and pages of weapons that after you finish a mission, you have to go through, pick your best ones, and then you kind of scrap the rest. A lot you of like. You can't sell it? Yeah, you sell it, but oh, you okay. have to go through and see which ones you want to keep, and you can use them for different jobs. And uh, we'll get into it. We'll, it'll make more sense as we start playing. Ooh, bats. It is very Batman. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna oh, make us so go ominous. in there and find you? Yeah. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. All right, let's do this. They baby. wear like no armor or anything. Well, I'm gonna get me some armor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm like they're going in. There's danger, and they're like no armor. Well, they're just wearing like you said. It's so uh, Abercrombie and Fitch you know, <laughs> Gap or something. That's the way you get armor. Uh, so these are the checkpoints. So here's where you can you can save, you can um, level up here, you can change the difficulty. Um, if you die, you go back to these checkpoints. Um, so that's why you want to be careful not to die. So we got okay, goblins. Well, hopefully don't end up back there Otherwise, giving you the tutorial again. Okay, let's just take him out. He doesn't seem that hard. Boom, 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 boom. Explode. I exploded him. Ain't no right. thing. Are these, oh, these things are tutorial tips too. Be like, press left or right to activate an ally's resonant state, during which they'll use their abilities more aggressively. Resonance? Take that punk out. Boom. These gobbies ain't nothing, man. Take them out. Critical. Boom. Explode you into crystals. See, isn't that cool? Do you like the do you like this cool palace we're in? It's kind of like ruins Pretty really. Dark. Yeah, it's it's a little moody in here. You see the so, Phantom of the Opera up in here. Up in this up in this biash. I think you can go. So the other two just Oh, one of them has weapons. Okay. And I guess the other one just has his fists. Yeah, one is a, a fist guy and 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 one guy has uh has knives. Oh, okay. Um but yeah, Ash is a fist guy. He likes to punch. Oh, you throwing stones. You see that stone bitch trying to throw a stone at me? I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna let you deal with that. Boom! Uh -huh. Now I throw stones back at you. That's what you get. I'm gonna take you out with your own stones. Don't stop hitting yourself. Because it's like when they throw a grenade, <laughs> they cash it and throw it back. It's oh, yeah. so ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god, we were, okay, so we went today to the movies, we saw, I think we mentioned it earlier in this Let's Play, we saw a movie called Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That is a movie where I think now they've just admitted the superpowers, like the superpowers of these guys is just whatever they want them to be for that scene. Because it didn't make any sense, they, like, what are their powers, what can they do? Like the Scarlet Witch at one point made someone's mouth disappear. I like I didn't know she could do that. <laughs> she seemed way she like a, too powerful. Like a Beetlejuice style power. And the only way to like, stop her was with America Chavez. And I was like, okay. Yeah. She didn't exactly use any powers to stop her. If you think about it. No. Well, she showed her, her kids. That's sometimes all it takes. But anybody could have done that, I guess. Really. Uh, they just physically took well, her to wherever to place. Doctor Strange didn't do that. That's what I'm saying. He could have just taken her to that place, to where that mother was. Well, he's, she's the one that figured out that that's what we need to do. I mean, she's so smart. Okay. Oh, this goblin's hitting me from behind. I see you, son of a bitch. I'm trying to blow up this little butthole in the wall that's like... It's got cut, teeth. Because it shoots out bad guys, so you got to take him out or else the bad guys keep oh, coming. Oh, whoa. Shit's coming down. Whoa, okay. Cool. So see how this like I'm picking up a great sword. So you could pick up a lot of um, a lot of uh, different mm, armor and stuff. So I could probably equip some armor. Let's see. You can just press the select button. It'll equip the best stuff you got. Oh. Um, okay. Nice jacket. Oopsie. Battle settings. Select. So yeah, now I got a cool jacket and stuff. A little more. It's armor. Still not like armor. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's better than wearing a t-shirt or whatever I was right, wearing before. Right, he's got this torn up shirt. Uh, where am I going? This way, this way. There's no map here, so I gotta sometimes remember where I'm going. You can dash. You can dash if you want to. You can leave all friends behind. 
because if they don't, <laughs> that's finish, what you literally touch. They were like <laughs> trying to catch up to you. Uh, whatever. Um, and then you can upgrade your abilities here too in the job trees. So job I can upgrade trees. my sword ability here. So now, and I can upgrade. Oopsie. And I can upgrade my um, duelist ability. So yeah, that's the other thing. So um, when you're playing, you can press the Y button. So now I have like the knives and then I can have the sword. And it's two different oh, roles. Okay. So eventually you get more and more of them. So eventually you could be like a mage or a uh, spell caster, a thief. A, a, you could be a ninja, I think, at one point. Or oh, so you a could Ronin. be different things. Wear yeah. different hats. Yeah, you, yeah. so you could choose your, choose your class, it's called. Your class in this game. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, guarding against magic. Magic attacks like fire deal some damage even if you guard. Uh, continuous hits, certain attacks will inflict ailments, additionally taking damage, yada yada yada, whatever. Basically kill these guys <laughs> is the plan. So, was that an original game too? Yada yada yada. Yeah, sure, yada yada. <laughs> no, the different <laughs> classes. So yeah, the way yeah. it worked in the, be in the beginning is um, you pick your, your character. Oh my god, this Ooh, little fireball is, 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 yeah, he's a little, I don't care for that. Um, you pick your, you had, a you had a choice, you had four characters and you set them up and you could either pick for each character what they would be. So it could either be like a thief, a warrior, a black belt, a, blue, a black mage, a red mage, or a white mage. Um, so, oh, he did it grow. I don't care for that. Oh boy, use a potion. Oh yeah, so yeah, you gotta recover your health. Uh, okay, smashy, smashy. Take you out, take you out, take you out. I should use a potion. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go, take him out. There we go, pop his bubble. Boom! <laughs> um, yeah, so you pick at the beginning what your characters are, but then they're stuck in that class. You can't just like switch between what they are, what they are, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Oh no, run away, they're shooting fire. Yes. You can run away, you don't have to fight these guys. You can go this this way. I actually like the sword, the big sword better than the small swords. What do you think? This big sword's sexy, man. It makes me feel like a man having this huge sword. It makes me feel like it's compensating for my tiny wee wee by carrying such a big sword. <laughs> Boom. I mean, I guess if it's like If like I had a really stronger. small dick, then yeah, I can, it would really work well. <laughs> So what was with the crystals, like... Uh, the crystals? Yeah, I see like red crystals. On the ground? That's like when I kill them, they explode into crystals. I guess that's part of the, Is like, that like your blood the or something? It's, I, I it's guess, because see when I explode them, they explode into crystals? I guess it's a... It's not exactly their blood, because I do have blood on the sword, right? So it's like I yeah, am actually murdered... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand what I'm looking at. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm violently murdering them, and they are filled with blood, and this is like... <laughs> glorious <laughs> shit, so I'm... I don't want to give myself off the hook to be like, oh, it's just crystals. They're not bad. And they're not really killing anyone. Boom. Fire. Fire. Slash. And then crystal explosion. Boom. Take you punk ass bitches out. No sweat. I didn't even sweat there. If you thought I was sweating, you guys are wrong. There's no sweat. Oh, here's another butthole in the wall I have to kill. With teeth. Yeah, because it's a little sharp butthole. <laughs> Keep, keep attacking it. Yeah, you want to take that thing out quick because it spawns more enemies. So you take it that out really first. It really just takes off the, takes out the whole building. Yeah. It's a part of it. Yeah, I took down that pillar. That pillar just fell over. Uh, okay, so let's see what's over here. There's, a, there's some different paths I could go down. I guess I should check some of the doors. What's in them? Oh, what's that guy? What's the that? cactus. He's a, he's a little tough. You got to be careful with this guy. What the heck was that? It's a little cacti. Okay. There you go. He seems pretty innocent. <laughs> well, you know what? I just blew him up, so... Why did you kill him? He seemed pretty innocent. Because... <laughs> he looked cartoony compared to all this stuff. <laughs> he did. That was so weird. I was like, what the heck is that? He knows what he did. He slept with my wife. So he gets what he deserves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must have been an uncomfortable experience. Oh my god. Woman. You've never slept with a cactus before? No. <laughs> I like to cuddle up in bed with a nice pointy cactus. <laughs> Have you ever like stepped on the cactus or, or or fell on one or anything like that? I never have. I heard it's unpleasant to say the least. Well, I'm pretty sure from what we could see, Looney Tunes, right? Oh yeah. If I've learned anything <laughs> from my coyote. Roadrunner cartoons, it's yeah. the cactuses. Mm, <laughs> not fun. I mean, I've been pricked by one, but yeah, uh, I've never like fallen on one. 
Oh, so here you can equip stuff for your combos. So I can do an onslaught, and this isn't a new one I got now. Instead of raging slash, I'm gonna do onslaught. Lunge forward. Oh, you could even watch a video of what it looks like. So if I do the right trigger twice, and then the gray, the or right bumper twice, and then the right trigger, I can do this move. Boom, boom. This is actually, in a way, this is similar to the other game we played, um, which we did not record, but we played um, Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is similar in a lot of ways to that. So you could oh. create combinations. Yeah, a lot of people hated that game. They got Dark like a Alliance. three. Uh, 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 oh, I need to equip. Yeah, this is going to tell me. Through those flames. Oh, yeah. So here I got to. I gotta be a mage. So this is so this is another one. Remember, I said you could be like a sword fighter. Mm -hmm. So actually, the classes I could tell you what they are here, like chit chatting. So swordsman is an option for a class, and duelist. Duelist is kind of like the little short swords. is more about stealth, and this one's more about blocking and moving around. Um, so okay, sure. Um, I'm gonna replace oh, no, the duelist bandana. with a different one. I want to oopsie. I want to be a mage. You want a whoopsie? I want a whoopsie. I want to be a mage. Uh, and then look, I now when I'm in a mage, I can do magic. Oh, oh, so it's to be magic. a mage, you need like that, uh, that club. headband? No, you need the, well, I mean, <laughs> Just the headband is cool. <laughs> I mean, if you want style points as a I, mage. Well, yeah. I thought maybe just sweat a lot, so sweatband. Put out the fire. And then the good thing is there's weaknesses. So like the fireball, not surprisingly, weak to water. So I can hit him with some water. Watch this. I'm gonna hit him with a lot of water. Boom. See, and it said weak. I'm gonna hit him with water again because I don't like him. And I'm gonna come take your punk ass out. Boom. Explode you, you son of a bitch. Take out these fireballs. And then this, this is another fireball there. I can hit him with some more water. Some more, um, do some spitting. More water, water. Look at this, just it's like Pokemon style, where like or Temtem style, where like water is weak against fire. You got the elements here. Yeah, classic stuff. If I do say so myself. Oh, you definitely want to as, as much as you can explode them with crystals like that because it re increases your MP and you need that to do magic and like your special moves. Like your powerful move. I'm doing this like a walkthrough tutorial, man. I'm really giving people some good advice. Um, and you know what, guys? Here, what we're going to do is we'll save it here. Um, and we'll probably play a little more next time. If you guys want to see us play the original Final Fantasy, let us know in the comments. Because I'm down. Uh, playing this game makes me want to play Final Fantasy Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is, this is Stranger of Paradise. Uh, and we'll see you guys later. All right. See you later. Bye.